بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله question was asked السلام عليكم السلام عليك ورحمة الله وبركاته أستاذ I hope you and your family are in the best of health in Iman I was originally going to go to Egypt but قدر الله it didn't work out due to family reasons I'm currently just about to start college in January for a computer programming advanced diploma. I'm set to finish in April 2021, which is two years and four months from now, inshallah. I feel like me going to school will affect my drive to seek knowledge because of the workload, etc. I'll be 22 turning 23 when I graduate, so it would be nice to go to Egypt after as well. How can I balance full-time school and work on weekends with seeking knowledge? Jazakallah khairan. Forgive me for the long question. Uh, first and foremost, uh, <clears throat> as we already know, the hukum of seeking knowledge, we know that we all need to have enough knowledge to be able to practice our deen, to be able to do the wajibat, to do those things which are obligations upon us. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, طلب العلم فريدة على كل مسلمة ومسلمة كل مسلم ومسلمة. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim man and Muslim woman. So the scholars mentioned that uh, there is a certain degree of knowledge which is an obligation upon us all, and then there's other knowledge which is not an obligation because of. And not everyone is going to be inclined to be a scholar, an alim, or even a student of knowledge. But there is a certain degree of knowledge that we need to know. We need to know how to pray properly. We need to know how to make wudu. We need to know how to make ghusl. We need to know how to do uh, pay zakat if you have wealth uh, <clears throat> and, and uh, other acts of ibadah. And so with that being the case, <clears throat> in your the brother's particular uh, scenario or situation that, of course, it will take away from your seeking knowledge. and But with you being such a young age, Walilah Alhamd, uh, once you finish, if you stay on your goal of achieving this uh, diploma, this higher diploma in computer science or what, whatever it is, then you will still, when you graduate, you'll still be of a very young age to where you can even get into Islamic universities in Saudia, for example, because the age in Saudia is generally, um, uh, I think, 25 is the cutoff age. So there's still opportunities. And in regards to seeking knowledge and your studies, your studies will be intense, but you can reserve time make time to do things like reading the Qur'an and memorizing what you can of the Qur'an and reading the Sunnah. And if you can, to squeeze in a lecture here and there or a dars. Uh, and again, as I've mentioned countless times, that I don't advise just listening to lectures that feel good and, and so forth, but I do advise going through books, you know, small, you know, maybe an explanation of Usul al Thalatha. That is going to give you uh, more knowledge or go through the book of Tahara with one of the students of knowledge because there's so much recorded uh, material out there nowadays there's hardly any excuse there's so many students of knowledge that have done work in English if English is your first language and in other languages so with that being the case there are many opportunities to um, to 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 seek knowledge at your own pace in accordance with your schedule but of course, as we know, as uh, the Salaf used to say, <clears throat> that al-ilm lam yati al-ilm bi jisid. That knowledge doesn't come by, you know, uh, by resting the body or by being comfortable and, and so forth. The knowledge, it, it does require sacrifice. So if you can sacrifice at least a little bit of your time, take some of your time that you could maybe be, that you're going to do some other activity, but at least take some of it to uh, put into uh, seeking knowledge, then this is this is be the best way. So you're going to find your own balance. 
uh, once you get into your program and as you progress through your program. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and him with tawfiq wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.